Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to my tips and tricks video for settlement building in Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show some of the things that help me when building a settlement. So without all being said, Let's go ahead and get started with the video. Tip number one is getting infinite resources. Getting infinite resources in Fallout 4 can be very useful, especially when you're going to build a big settlement. What I like to do is go throughout Sanctuary and scrap everything I can. And then after I scrap everything, I'll go to my workbench and grab out the items that I want to duplicate. To be able to duplicate items in Fallout 4, you go into your pit boy and you drop any items that you'd like to duplicate, um, as long as they're junk items. If it is like a pen, or it's a pencil, or a bucket, you have to scrap it first, and then you'll be able to do this. So it's hard junk items, so like glass, springs, wood, concrete, etc. So let's go ahead and drop this on the ground. And I am playing on a PlayStation. So you're going to have to convert this to whatever console you're playing on or um, PC if you're playing on PC, which if you're on PC, you probably have the mods and everything like that. Uh, so you won't need to do this. So what you want to do is go into your settlement mode. So you hold down the settlement button till you go into it. And what you want to do is you want to hit the scrap button just hold it down don't let it go if you do then you're going to mess this up and as soon as you as soon as you let go of the scrap button you want to hit the store button so as soon as you let go of the scrap button hit store and you should get two windows popping up you have to hold the store button if you let go of it then one of those windows is going to shut and you're not going to do the duplication correctly and then you're going to have to try it again. So go ahead and hit scrap and then store and then rinse and repeat. So hit the scrap button. As soon as you let go of the scrap button, hit store. It didn't work that time. That's a good example. So hold the scrap button, hit store, and then the two windows pop up and go ahead and click them. So that's the first tip. You're gonna want as many resources as you can. Let's go ahead and move on to the next tip. And now on to tip number two. Tip number two is learning how to lower your settlement size meter. To be able to do this, you need to grab every weapon you have out of your workbench and put it into your inventory. After having the weapons into your inventory, you want to drop them on the ground Okay, so we have all our weapons on the ground now. Let's go ahead and go into our settlement mode. And then what we're gonna do is we're not going to scrap them. We're gonna store them back in our workbench. And as you can see, the bar starts moving down slowly but surely. The bigger the weapon, the more the bar is gonna move down. This is a good way to be able to build your settlement a lot larger than what you normally could. Just be careful with building it too big. You can cause the game to lag pretty bad, or you can also cause it to crash. There you go. And after you get all your weapons picked up, go ahead and rinse and repeat until you have the meter down to where you want it. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and move on to tip number three. For tip number three, we're gonna learn how to place walls into already existing walls, like some of the houses in Sanctuary. 
So what we want to do is we want to go into our settlement building menu. And then we're going to go over to the warehouse structures. From the warehouse walls, we're going to go ahead and go over to the windows. I want to show everybody how we can make a window in Sanctuary. So we want to face it like we're facing it to the outside. We're going to go back down. We're going to grab ourselves a concrete. Oops, set that back down. We're going to grab ourselves a concrete wall. And we want to make sure that it's the shortest concrete wall we can find. And we want to get this relatively close, but not too close. We want a little bit of a gap in it. That's a little too close, so we want a little bit of a gap. And then we're going to hold the select button. And that's going to allow us to pick up the wall and the window all at the same time. We can also use this to place walls further down into the ground. But then if we want to put a window in here, we can slide this in like so till it looks nice and neat and flush. We can even slide it over just a little bit more or maybe this way a little more. And then we place it. There we go. We have a window. And you can mess around with it a little more. I'm just showing everybody how you can do it. You can actually bring this window down a lot more so that it's not sticking up outside of the roof here. I'll show everybody real quick. That way it's not sticking up outside. You can bring it down a little more. But it also gives it a nice look too with that warehouse kind of poking through some of the already existing wall. It just gives it that wasteland feel. Like everything's just kind of patched together. We can also use this trick if we want to angle maybe a wall from here to here. We want it to go at an angle instead of just straight. Normally you couldn't do that if you wanted to just place a wall. Let's go ahead and press down on the D-pad to get out of here. And then we'll press up on the D-pad to be able to get into the walls again. And we'll go all the way to the beginning. Set that down. And then we'll get this in front. And you want this to be kind of out of the ground. You don't want it too far down because then when you go to pull the wall down, it's only going to go so far. And you want to have as much length as you can get. This one doesn't have to be spaced. It's just when you're putting it inside of an existing wall that you want to do that. So instead of, you know, having it straight, which w may not work properly, it'll be cutting into here and all of that. So you, you don't want to do it straight. And maybe you want it a little bit at an angle. And you can do this with multiple walls too. So you can get this kind of turn and curve to your walls so it doesn't all look boxy. Just go ahead and place it. And then we have a wall. And if we go to the other side, it'll look nice and clean. So it just looks natural, like the Wastelanders and the Commonwealth are building up sanctuary. Right here, I'll show you how I curved this wall using the same method. And then I made these straight right here. And then I used this one, lined it up, and curved it. 
right here I did the same thing, kind of curved it over so it goes into this building just like so. All right, and that will be tip number three. Let's go ahead and move on to tip number four. For tip number four, we're gonna learn how to hide conduits in walls. This can be very useful when you don't want a bunch of power lines cluttering your base or settlement, whatever you wanna call it, or you just don't want a bunch of conduits in your corners and stuff and you kind of want to hide them that way you can have lighting all through your house and it looks nice and tidy and not like you would be having wires hanging everywhere um, and just making it look a little unnatural so what we want to do first is we have our generator out here I went ahead and I built that ahead of time we want to go into our settlement menu we want to go down to our decorations. We're going to go to floor coverings and we're going to pull out four mats and we're going to stack them like so. Just a little bit of a lip on the end of it so that they're touching just barely. I'm going to press down on the D-pad, go back to power, go up on the d-pad and then up one more time for our conduits here and we're gonna place our conduit right onto our rug just like this we're gonna pick up this piece of the rug so that we can pull the conduits or conduit off here attach a wire and then we can Place it wherever we want. We can hide it right here in the wall, like so. Now with this, you're gonna see the power line. So my advice to everybody is you want to place your generators somewhere kind of far apart and then bring your conduit out to it, attach it and then drag it back to the house and start hooking up a conduit to the next one. So instead of trying to hook up each conduit to one generator, you can just have one hooked up to one generator and then the rest of the conduits can be hooked up to that. So for instance, if we come back over to the decorations and we place four more mats, And then we go back to our conduits here and we place another one right here. We can pull this out, still connected to the generator. We can connect it to this. So then you have this connected to here. You can hide that. And then you can come over here and maybe put it in this corner where this dead guy is and hide it over here so that it kind of lines up with that wall. Now you probably won't be able to see this outline of the wire if you have your walls built in to the structure already. So this will all be covered, but because there's a hole in here, we can see the wiring um, and whatnot, but you shouldn't have any problems with it. But that's how you hide conduits and make your house feel a little more clean. All right, let's go ahead and move on to tip number five. And for tip number five, it's gonna be short and sweet, and that is plant mute fruit. Mute fruit is one of the best foods to plant in your settlement because it produces one whole food instead of 0.5 like the other foods that you'll plant in your settlement. So as soon as you can get mute fruit, go ahead and plant it, harvest it, and continue to plant it. That doesn't mean don't plant other foods and vegetables at your settlement. It just means make sure mute fruit is your main source. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to tip number six. And for tip number six, we're gonna go over defenses. 
And the best defense is your heavy machine gun turrets. So if we go into our settlement building menu here and we go over to defense, go up to turrets, and we come over to the heavy machine gun turrets, it produces eight defense. Now there are better defenses like the heavy laser turret, but it costs electricity and electricity can get expensive very, very fast. Plus you need a ton of components and rank three science just to make it. For the heavy machine gun turrets, you only need gun nut rank one in all the material you need for these heavy machine gun turrets you can find really easily so my recommendation at least when you're first starting out use heavy machine gun turrets they're cheap they produce quite a bit of defense and you can produce quite a few of them let's go ahead and exit out of here and then move on to Tip number seven. And for tip number seven, this is going to be more of a glitch than it is a tip. But if you're low on money, there is an easy way of making it. And it has to do with going into your workshop. So go into your workshop and you'll go up to stores. Stores are really easy to make. You have to have local leader rank two to be able to do this. All you have to do is build a store. After building that store, we're gonna do the same thing as we did whenever we were duplicating material for building. So you want to hold the scrap button and then as soon as you let go of the scrap button, you want to hit store. Right there, you'll have the two windows pop up. Go ahead and hit scrap as you're holding the store button. And then as you're still holding the store button, hit store. And then you should have money, free caps. So we can do that again, just to show everybody. We go like that. Now we're not wasting any money because we already stored one of the general stores right here. So we want to hold the scrap button. As soon as we let go of the scrap button, go ahead and hit store. Two windows will pop up. Just the same, hold the store button, hit scrap, hit store. And you can just keep doing that over and over and over again until you get the amount of bottle caps you want. You can go all over the Capital Wasteland, not Capital Wasteland, I apologize, the Commonwealth, and buy whatever you like. Guns, ammunition, armor, even junk if you want to. Have at it. All right, with that all being done, let's go ahead and move on to tip number eight. And for tip number eight, which is our last tip, I'm going to show everybody how to get some quick levels just in case you don't want to build the settlement, but you want to have some free leveling. So what you want to do is after you've duplicated enough uh, material to be able to build walls, because you shouldn't have statues just yet, that's a little bit further out, You, but if you build glass walls or regular walls you can build a bunch of them in a row just like so and then you'll be able to just run a line with it all the way to the end And then you can go back and you can delete them. You don't want to store them because then you won't get experience for doing that. I'm not going to delete all these walls, but as you can tell, there are a ton of them. So it can be very time consuming doing this, but it can be well worth it. My advice is before you start building the walls, 
go ahead and sleep in a bed, even if it's just for an hour, so you get the well-rested bonus. When you have well-rested, you get bonus experience, and you'll be able to level up faster. All right, now that that's been done, I also want to go ahead and do a walkthrough of the settlement so everybody can see what I've built. I'll go ahead and transition, and I'm not going to have any commentary. I'm just going to let everybody see what I have built in the settlement so far, and hopefully it'll give everybody some ideas or some inspiration. Just be creative. That's the biggest thing I can tell everybody. Be creative. Have fun. There's no wrong or right way to build in your settlement. There's only you being creative. With that being said, let's go ahead and have a tour of my settlement and sanctuary. Been too long since I picked a fight. You ought to be careful. I can fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual.
Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Made it another day in the Commonwealth. Lucky us. It is hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. Humanity is so resilient to cling to life despite all of this. It is the duty of us all to further that survival. All right, everyone. Hopefully this tips and tricks video helped you out with some of the basics for building your settlement, making it better, and just becoming more creative. If it did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If it didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.